Welcome to the Dead Bedroom Revival Podcast. My name is Corey, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode because last time when I tried to make this episode, I was going to say the same thing that I'm excited, but I wasn't excited. I was, uh, I felt beaten up by life. And um, the week weekend before that, I was in a car accident. And, and when I did have the car accident, I was actually going to work. And there was supposed to be extra work where I was supposed to make more money in order to uh, start doing stuff for Christmas. So I missed, lost my car there then. And um, again, the issue with, with, with it is that uh, the financial uh, issues that are going to come from the accident, uh, and I'm not getting a bigger picture of it. And it's quite uh, demotivating. Now, the one thing that is a good thing about all of this is that uh, the actual accident itself and how it happened, um, I'm just grateful to be alive, no long-term injuries. So that's what one thing I'm grateful for. And one thing that I can look at and think, you know what, that's um, a blessing on its own. But obviously, there's, that's one issue out of loads of other issues that are happening. So um, I've, been, I've been trying to get insurance, people to sort my car around. Uh, they, they're giving me a run around so I can really have a car. So I've had to go and spend more money to hire a car as well. And that's that. And then also there's um, some texting issues that I, I have, which um, I discovered that I'm paying 40% and I will always pay 40% tax, which is quite a, a hit in the wallet. You know what I mean? So it feels like life is just beating me up from all angles. And um, the one thing that I've remained is confident in myself and my ability and in order to change it and also as this all unfolds um my wife in particular uh, it's important that um we can communicate through this but uh she will feel anxiety because she will her first instinct is to protect the children but at the same time um if i can tell her that thing everything's going to be okay she will i have to say it and she has to believe me and one of the issues that most men have is that they will not have a track record of resolving things. So, for instance, if you say you're going to do something, you need to follow up consistently. So, uh, be a man of your word. When you do that consistently, when you get into a situation of crisis, then your words are more believable. Because usually when uh, you downward spiral, then she downward spirals, and somebody tries to stop you from, stop this from happening and tries to... Um, make momentum forward you want somebody who's going to believe in the fact that you're going to actually do what you're going to do but if they don't believe then um again that can be a way that will block you from actually achieving what you want to achieve because uh, that's the person that's going to support you and um take go there you want the person second guessing what you're doing you know so this is very important now i thought i mentioned this uh probably this might be the shortest episode ever but because i need to go and collect my daughter but I thought I needed to mention that because I think sometimes when in a sexless relationship, this is the extreme side of it. So what's happening to me? But on a normal day-to-day -day life that is going okay, there's no major issues. Um, being Having that ability to say one thing and do it uh, is very important. Uh, I spoke to a client recently and she said, uh, they're having issues and issues stemmed from um the fact that he had said he was going to text her and then uh, the guy did it and then uh, she she started sort of uh thinking through but what if he's speaking to somebody else and so on and really uh she did say to me that uh, she she was glad that she went through it because she actually started working uh her thoughts through it but um the initial thing was that he had said something and he didn't follow through. Now, they ended up sorting it out. It wasn't a major issue. But again, as a guy, you have to um, be consistent to what you say and be consistent to doing what you say. You know, and I think this is a very, very important thing. And very, very important. Because again, this builds, it's almost like trust. And, and if you think of trust as um, a currency and you're banking, you're banking your trust in her and then all of a sudden one day you're gonna have to get a withdrawal and that withdrawal will be like i'm going to do this 
and I need you to support me and that person will support you because of the proven track record of and this is one of the most important things when it comes to leadership and this is one of the key concepts that you need to be uh, real leaders um, execute and whenever you say or have an idea to do something you do it you don't and again sometimes you even do it despite the fact that you might know that you might fail you have to be prepared to fail so that you can learn from it so that when you try and execute again then you've got a better uh, informed decision on how what you're doing so hopefully that's been uh, helpful for you go to www.deadbedroomrevival.com and you'll be able to uh, get some trainings over there you get a, a link to your facebook group uh, so you can join us in the community so we can grow together so thank you very much and I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Take care.